Palestine, Australia, Zimbabwe, Colombia, Belgium, Puerto Rico, Netherlands, Korea. Hi, Korea. 안녕하세요, 원다입니다. 세계 미인 대회의 진행자가 참가자들을 호명하며 시종일관 그들의 이름이 아닌 나라 이름만을 불러댑니다. 인사를 건넬 때조차도 그 사람의 이름이 아닌 나라 이름만을 호칭하는데요. 물론 무대에선 참가자들이 한 나라를 대표하여 나온 참가자들이 틀림없긴 하지만 나라 이름만으로 참가자들을 호칭함으로써 그한 명이 그 나라를 대표하고 있다는 느낌을 더욱 강하게 강조하고 있습니다. 세계 4대 미인대회 중 하나인 미스어스는 가장 지적인 여성들이 모여있다는 평을 받는 세계 미인대회입니다. 그래서인지 경연의 심사 단계가 올라갈수록 미적인 것보다 지적인 것에 심사 포인트를 맞추고 있는데요. 지난 11월 29일 미스어스 대회에서 우승한 한국의 최민아 수는 확실히 남다른 지적 면모를 보여줬습니다. 특유의 부드러우면서도 자신감 있는 태도로 상투적이거나 진부하지 않으면서도 인상적이고 설득력 있는 메시지로 좌중을 사로잡는 카리스마가 단연 돋보였죠. 86개국 참가자들과 경쟁을 펼친 한국 대표 최민아 수는 탑 에이스 거쳐 탑 4에 진출했고 최종 1위를 거머쥐며 한국인 최초 메이저 세계 미인대회 우승이라는 캐거를 이뤄냈습니다. 탑 에이스에서부터는 참가자들의 지적인 면이 심사 대상이 되었는데요. 심사위원들은 탑 에이스에 뽑힌 각국의 미인들이 무대 중앙으로 나와 각각 무작위로 단어 하나를 뽑고 그 단어를 이용하여 미스 어스라는 이름답게 환경보호에 관해 즉성에서 영어로 메시지를 전달하면 그들이 언어 표현력과 메시지 내용으로 지적인 면의 심사에 탑볼을 선출했습니다. 탑 에이스에서부터 돋보였던 한국 대표 최민아 수의 즉석 대답을 함께 들어보시죠. Weeks ago, someone posted online and said the most intelligent women in pageantry are in Miss Earth. Of course, I knew that. Now, each of the top eight will pick a card containing a topic in this bowl over here. She will then expound on her chosen topic within 30 seconds. And once this chime sounds, that means her time is up. Palestine. Open-minded. Australia. Your hashtag is fairness. Zimbabwe. Sincerity. Colombia. <laughs> And your hashtag is integrity. Belgium. Honesty. Puerto Rico. Trustworthy. Netherlands. Dependable. Korea. <laughs> Loyalty. My hashtag is loyalty. I think it's very important to be loyal to the ones we love, and especially our Earth as we live and we reside in this single planet called Earth. And with loyalty, I believe we can do better in order to collectively share and across minds, across world, in order to help this world, not just the environment, but more than that, because there are so many things that are intrinsically related to the Earth, just social issues and political issues and historical issues, and the war as well. So let's be loyal to each other and share some love. Thank you. Now three rounds of competition are done, but the task is far from over. Later on, we'll find out from the judges who they choose to be in this year's final four. Top four에 선출된 참가자들이 최종 심사를 남겨두고 있습니다. 이번에도 역시 참가자들의 지적인 면이 심사 대상입니다. 이번 심사에서는 똑같은 질문이 Top four에게 주어지고 네 명의 각 참가자들은 즉석에서 30초 안에 대답을 해야 합니다. 그래서 4명의 대답을 확연하게 비교할 수 있는 시간이었는데요. 탑보에 오른 참가자가 한 명씩 무대 중심에 나와 질문을 듣고 대답하는 동안 나머지 3명의 참가자는 공평성을 위해 소리를 차단하는 헤드폰을 착용했습니다. 모두에게 똑같이 주어진 질문에서 한국의 최민아 수는 비슷비슷한 다른 후보들의 상투적인 대답과 다르게 인상적이면서도 설득력 있는 메시지로 심사위원들과 관객들에게 큰 울림을 주며 최종 1위라는 영광을 안았는데요. And as you can see, the other delegates will be wearing headphones, so they will not hear the final question. Each will be given 30 seconds to respond until she hears this warning chime. Let's begin with Australia. What is one thing you want to write in this world, and how would you write it? 
One thing that I would write in this world are the wrongs done to our environment. For too long it has gone unchecked and we are seeing the consequence of this. As someone who grew up in the countryside in Australia and got to travel my nation living in a tent for 14 months, I've seen firsthand the impacts that climate change has on our beautiful nature. And so if I could write, I would beg that everybody please reconsider and do your best to ace climate conservation. Let's call out Colombia. Colombia, same question for you. What is one thing you would want to write in this world and how would you write it? So what is one thing you would want to write or correct in this world and how would you correct it? I think we should start writing about the human rights and about the real protection of the Mother Earth. Equality, the way we treat human beings, we have to treat fauna and flora, we have to take care of the ecosystems, and we have to realize that we are in our planet, our Mother Earth, which is just one hum. So it's our responsibility to write about it and to make sure that we really take care of it, not with talking, but with actions. Thank you. Let's call up Palestine. Same question for you, although you had your headphones on, so I'll read it again. I think I would want to fight the ignorance and selfishness of people, because I think that is the main problem that we are facing today with all of the issues, including the environmental catastrophes that we are facing, which are made from humans. So. Me personally, my environmental advocacy was launching an, an educational campaign with governmental and non-governmental organizations in Palestine, including the United Nations, where I educated people about the dangers. And I think that it starts with education, and that's how we can really solve the selfishness and ignorance that we see in the world today and save planet Earth. Certainly is quite a lot to write in the world right now. And maybe our next contestant has the answer. Maybe she can uncover it for us. Ladies and gentlemen, Korea. Hi, Korea. Okay, Korea, same question for you. What is one thing you would like to write in this world as incorrect, and how would you correct it? Could you repeat the question? What is one thing you would want to correct in the world, and how would you correct it? If there's something I would correct in this world, it would be uh, um, uh, being empathetic. We often mistake kindness as being empathetic, but what being empathetic is really putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And when it comes to climate issues and other issues in this world, one has to be empathetic. You need to really see how the other person perceives this world. You need to understand their pain by being in their, in their shoes. And that, I feel like, differs from being empathetic. Kindness and empathetic can be different. And if I get the chance to really define it differently, that's how I would define it more definitely. Thank you. 지적이고 아름다운 모습으로 카리스마 넘치는 매력을 발산하며 끝내 우승의 자리에 올라선 한국의 최민하수에 대해 보도하는 CNN과의 인터뷰에서도 최민하수는 한국인으로서의 자부심을 드러냈습니다. Absolutely an honor to represent Korea, to be a proud Korean, but at the same time to be a pageant winner like this. I feel like the popular can increase more by really showing that pageantry is not only being a pretty face, it's about being a charismatic person that's influential on other people. And if more Koreans see that, especially right now, the Korean wave is insanely impacting globally on a universal level. 아름다운 외모뿐만 아니라 지적인 면과 자중을 서로 잡는 부드러운 카리스마까지 갖춘 모습으로 세계 4대 미인 대회에서 당당히 우승을 차지한 한국의 최민아 수가 참 멋있습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다. 원다였습니다.